If you're worried that users you're sharing your templates with might not follow the process you've spent time designing, you're going to love the permission options that I'm going to show you now. Let's just say that you share this template with another user of your account. And I'm viewing this particular page now as the other users who has access to that shared template. If I click on the template and then edit, my template is password protected, which is fine. By the way, if you haven't watched the video on where I show you how to protect your template, just go ahead and watch the video on how to share templates. Um, so I can't make an edit to the template itself, so then that's fine. But if I click on use, then what DocuSign is doing is it's creating a new envelope based on the template. So here, I can actually go ahead and delete the recipient if I want to. And I could do it intentionally or I could, I could make a mistake. I can change the uh, email subject. I can also potentially change the fields or anything else. So this is what you want to prevent. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Sofian Saudi, founder of Solisan Consulting, where we help financial services companies scale their sales and customer onboarding workflows using automation software. If your business could use some help with your DocuSign implementation or integration with CRM or any other app, you can find the link uh, down below to book a strategy session with me. For now, let's talk about how you can enforce workflows in all the envelopes that are being sent from your DocuSign account. First, we want to access the template as an admin or as the template owner and then you want to click on edit. From within the settings of the template, click on advanced options and here you're going to see you've got template modification and template usage. So this is what we're going to cover. If you don't want your recipients to be able to add, remove or change recipients, you can check that box. However, if you still want, this is going to affect all the, 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 the recipients in the envelope. So sometimes that's not practical because you still want your users to be able to add the name and email of the person they're going to send the envelope to. So if you don't want to check, check that box so that your signers can still um, edit some of the recipients, go to the recipient that you want to um, affect and click on customize and then advanced edit. And from here, if you select the top one, they won't be able to change the name and email. If you select the bottom one, they won't be able to delete the recipient at all. And if you select both, they won't be able to edit and they won't be able to delete. The second option that you have has to do with the email subject, message and private message. The last option has to do with the brand. So if you've got multiple brands set up on your account and you're worried that your users might not select the right brand or forget to actually set it up, don't allow your signers to edit the brand that's linked inside of your DocuSign template. Now, we talked about how to lock in recipients, messages, and um, branding. But there's another thing that we might want to lock in, which might be even more important, and that's the fields and the documents. So the way you can lock in fields and documents is by removing access to options when your senders are gonna click on use. So I'm gonna show you now. So if I don't touch any of those settings, the default option is the top one. So senders get access to the send and advanced edit option. So if I now click on use viewing the DocuSend account as a person who's been granted access to the shared template, I can either click on send or advanced edit. And so if you don't want your signers to be able to go to the advanced edit uh, menu, which will then allow them to go to the DocuSign uh, tagging page. So for example, if I click on next, I can now then affect the field. So I could potentially delete a field. I could mess things up and before clicking on send. But now let's just see um, the difference. So if I click on quick send only, and if I try to access the template, if I click on use, I only have the send now button. I don't have the advanced edit. So I can't delete the fields. I can't touch anything. I can't even touch documents. I can't, I can't actually do much. I can just add the name of the recipient. So that might be the best option for you. And unfortunately at this point, there's no way to force senders to field any of the fields in the envelope before the envelope goes out. But the workaround is to create a power form and set up your sender as the first signer of the power form. This way they'll be treated as a signer and will have to fill in the field. But the problem with that is that not all documents or features are available on PowerForms. And if you're just starting with DocuSign and don't even know what a PowerForm is or just want to um, be able to use template a little bit better, I recommend that you download my free DocuSign Mastery Cheat Sheet because it will show you how to use templates, fields and recipients. You can download it using the link that's popping up right now and you can also find it in the description of the video in case you just missed it. And if you want your senders to have the option to edit some of the fields and protect some other fields, you can configure each individual field with one of the following properties. Let's say that I want to protect this field. Uh, I want to make sure it doesn't get deleted by the senders. So if I click on this field here, I can go to uh, sender permission and I can say this field is mandatory. Mandatory means that the field cannot be deleted. And if I say restrict changes instead, 
then it means that they can't change the properties of the field. They can still uh, fill in the field, but they can't make, uh, they can't change the uh, condition logic, they can't change the validation, the data label, the formatting, whether it's required or read-only, um, they can just fill in the field, that's it. And I can select both, which means they can't delete it and they can't change any of the properties of my field. Now, if you configure all these options, you can be 95% confident that the envelopes your users are going to be sending will follow the process that you've designed initially. But so why do I say 95%? Well, it's because the settings we just looked at only control the workflow of the envelopes generated using a template. Technically, your users could create a new envelope without a template and still mess things up. So another option that you might want to consider is to turn off the ability to send envelopes without a template. And so this is in the sending settings of your settings tab. You have an option here that says require a template for all envelopes sent from this account. The problem with this setting is that it affects the entire account, which means that if you ever need to send an ad hoc envelope for which you don't already have a template uh, built, you are either going to need to create a new template or you're gonna to have to go back to the setting and turn it off temporarily uh, while you're creating a template. And of course, you're gonna to have to turn it back on. It's kind of not super practical, but it's available. And by the way, I post DocuSign related videos on a weekly basis. So if you want to be notified on the next features uh, and better ways of using the software, don't forget to hit subscribe. In the next video, we'll show you how to share envelopes between users of the same DocuSign account. I will see you then, ciao.